Hey Jack, what are we gonna draw today? A Fall Guys chicken costume. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies, markers, some paper, and something to color with. Yeah, <laughs> let's start. Yes. We're first gonna draw the circle for his face. We'll start here and we're gonna draw it about this size. Yeah, like that. We're doing a little smaller because I think when, when you add the costumes on, they get a little bigger, the yeah. character gets bigger. So we need more room for everything else. Okay, now we're gonna draw the eyes. We're gonna repeat the same step we did in the first time we drew a Fall Guys. So we'll draw two lines for the side of the eye. And then we can draw a curve for the bottom and a curve for the top. Let's repeat that same step over here. We'll leave space and then we'll draw the same two lines coming down and then a curve for the bottom of the eye and then also for the top of the eye. Now let's color in those pill shapes. They look like pills. Yeah. Or vitamins. And then we're gonna draw the first part of the chicken suit. The little thing that hangs down from the beak. Yeah. Which is called the waddle, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start here and it's, we're gonna draw a raindrop shape. So we're gonna come down really far in between the eyes like this. And then we're gonna come back up to a point up here. Yeah, it already looks like the chicken suit. Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna draw the beak. We're gonna start here and we're gonna draw a curve or a U shape underneath or well above. This is the underneath side of the beak. So we'll draw it above the waddle. Now we're gonna draw the top of the bottom part of the beak. So we'll draw a little curve like that. And the beak is open. The mouth is open. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna come up higher like this and then we're gonna come back down. Then we're gonna draw the outside of the head or the costume. We'll start here on the beak, like about halfway up. And we're gonna come down like this and we're gonna curve down to the side of the head and we're even gonna go past the face. So we're gonna stop maybe about there. Then we're gonna imagine that Nice job. We're gonna imagine that going behind the beak over here and come out on the other side and we're gonna repeat that same shape or same curve on the other side. It should look like an upside down U when you're all done. Then we're gonna draw the bottom of the top part of the chicken suit or the feathers. Yeah, I, I think. It kinda of looks like feathers. Yeah, okay. We're gonna start. Giant. Three giant feathers. Three giant feathers. <laughs> We're gonna start here. We're gonna draw a upside down V. So we're gonna, it's gonna be tall and skinny like that. And then we're gonna draw another one that's right next to it. Well, not next, right next to it. We'll leave a little space and we'll do the same thing. Yeah, now over here on the left, we're gonna curve out and we're gonna curve out also on the right. We'll connect the center first. So we're gonna curve around like this and then connect to the other side. And then we'll do the same thing over here. You can extend down further like this and then curve in. Yeah, just like that. Then we're gonna repeat that same step over here, curve around and then connect in. All right, let's add a few extra details right here. We're gonna make this look 3D by curving like this and then we're gonna taper into the V. Let's do the same thing over here. We'll draw another curve that matches and then right here as we come up, we get closer and connect in. There you go. Let's draw that same detail right here on this part, but we're only gonna draw it right here at the end. We're not going further up. Yeah. So that gives thickness to the costume. Although what's our chicken missing up here? Eyes. Yeah, the big, huge eyes. <laughs> That's what makes this one funny. We're gonna draw a big uh, C shape coming out on the left and we can do that same shape or curve over here on the right. Now let's also add the pupil for the chicken eye. We'll draw another curve out here on the end and another curve over here. Then let's also color in that shape. So we'll color in the little sliver on the left and also on the right. Okay, now we're ready for the top of our chicken. We're gonna draw a little curve that comes around like this and then connects back in. It's a little hairdo. Yeah, hairstyle. 
and then we're going to draw another one that sticks out to the side like that. Now we're ready to draw the pants or the body. We're going to start over here on the feather and we're going to curve around like this and come down and then back up and connect on the other side. Yeah. Okay, now we can draw the little texture on its body. We're going to draw two right here underneath this feather. And then we're going to draw one that comes out on the left and then also another one further out on the right. Now we're going to draw three more of those little U shapes, but in between the first row that we did. So yeah, in the exactly. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> then on the next row down, we're going to draw two in between right here, on the left and the right, and then one right in the middle to finish. Okay, now we're ready to draw the feet. We're going to start here and we're going to draw two diagonal lines that come in towards each other down at the bottom. They taper in so they get closer. Then we'll draw the outside of the feet. We'll leave a little space right here and then we're going to draw it coming out further. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Okay, now let's connect these together. We'll start here on the outside, curve around and then connect to the inside. And then we can do the same thing on the right, curve around and connect into the center. All right, we got one last step and that's to add the arms. We're going to start up here on the shoulder, which is right in line with the bottom of the eyes. So we'll line up the bottom. We'll draw an imaginary line that comes out here and we're going to curve out for the shoulder and we're going to come down and stop right at the bottom of his pants. Good. Now let's come right here and we're going to draw, we're going to extend the inside of the arm just a little further down. So his arm is up against his body and it just comes down a little ways. Then we're going to draw a sideways U for the thumb. And then we're going to draw the rest of the fingers. They're going to come down, curve around and then connect to the thumb. We could add just a little line for the finger. Yeah, split the fingers. <laughs> Let's do the same step on the other side. We're going to start in the same spot. We're going to curve down. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. <laughs> yes, there you go. And then we'll draw the inside of the arm. It's just going to extend down just a little further. Then we'll draw that sideways U for the thumb. Start on the outside and curve around and then connect into the thumb. If we ever go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. Okay, let's draw that last little line for the finger. All right, Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our Fall Guys chicken costume. But we still need to color it. Yeah, let's pick out the colors. We're using biannual markers. We also have marker paper. Now you guys can use whatever you have at home, but the colors that we picked out are R107, if you have the same markers, red. We also have a brown, Y529, yellow, Y107, an orange, Y505, and a warm gray, WGO3. I think we're also going to use some colored pencils too. Yeah. But first, what we're going to do, we're get, we are going to fast forward part of this step. We're going to color our chicken solid with these colors. So let's skip forward. After we do that, color it in solid. We'll talk about the next step. That step was very simple. We just colored everything, everything solid. Yeah. Like the bottom brown and the feet orange and also yellow and red. Now we're gonna switch to our WG03, which is our warm gray, light gray, and we're gonna add shading to make our chicken costume more three-dimensional. First, let's add a shadow down here on the bottom of the feathers. So I'm gonna color in this bottom part. You can also add a shadow underneath the feather. So I'm going to come down into the brown part of the costume. We'll also, we'll come over here and color this part in too. And this part over here. Then I'm going to add that shadow on the brown. So we'll go around 
You can also layer this a couple times if you want to make it darker. So we let that dry and then we can come back over it and then add another layer to darken in the shadow underneath. That looks 3D, look at that. Yeah. It's really cool. Super simple, but looks awesome. Yeah. Also remember when you layer in your gray on top of other colors or any color on top of another one, you also want to come, you want to have a scratch piece of paper that you can clean your marker off. So it gets that brown, since we colored over the brown, off the marker and it comes back to gray. So now we can add a shadow. Let's add one up here on the face. I'm gonna add a little gray shadow underneath the hood of the costume. So up here like that. We can also add a little shadow underneath this, I think it's called the waddle. <laughs> the little chicken part that comes down right there. We can also add a little shadow underneath the beak. We could also add a little shadow underneath the eye right here. Just draw a little shadow at the very bottom. I'm gonna clean off my marker because I have a little yellow in there. You wanna clean, there you go. Now let's add a shadow right here under the arm. So I'm gonna start on the armpit, come down. We're gonna come down the arm like this. We can also add a little shadow on the thumb and also the hand. Come around like that. Yeah. Then let's do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to add a shadow down the arm, come in around the thumb and also around the fingers. It's looking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Now we need to add a shadow on the feet. We'll add a little curve right here, and then we can color in above it. I'm also going to add the shadow underneath the feet so we can come all the way around. We'll do the same thing except the other direction on the other foot. So then come all the way around the bottom like that. That makes it look really 3D. Mm -hmm. Cool. I like how you made a few changes to the arm. That looks awesome. Do you want to add another shadow yeah. over here? There you go. Yes, good job. All right, let's also add a shadow to the bottom of the costume. So we're going to trace around the very bottom, come up on the side. I'm going to make that a little thicker down here on the bottom. Yes, and also let's add a shadow underneath each of the little texture lines, the feathers, on his pants. So we can go around, add that little extra shadow. Then we're gonna, let's switch. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's clean off our marker. We'll probably have a lot of brown, look how brown that is. Wow. So we can go over. It does waste your marker to clean it off, but you don't want your gray to look that brown the next time you use it. Yeah. Now let's switch to our colored pencils. We're using Prismacolor and we're gonna use Peach. We're gonna add a little highlight on the top of each of these feather lines. So you can just add that little highlight, it makes it look like the feather is sticking out from the body. Doesn't that look cool? Yeah. Now if you used white, it would probably look too bright. That's why we're using peach or a darker color. There you go on each one. Now let's switch to our white and we're going to add a highlight to the waddle. I don't know, this little hang down thing, <laughs> the red, <laughs> this red thing on his forehead. And then we can also add a little highlight on the eyes. And then we can also add a highlight up here. Oh, we need to add a shadow up here on the hair. And we also need to add a shadow to the beak. Oh, let's add, we can add a little shadow, or not shadow, highlight on the eyes too. That looks cool. There we go. Okay, now let's switch back to our, our warm gray. We're gonna add a shadow on the hair thing right here. And also, I think this is called a comb. Chicken, on the chicken, the huh. top of the chicken thing. It's yeah. called a comb, I think. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to check. 
All right, so we got the little shadow there. We're going to rinse off. Rinse off. Rinse off. Clean off our marker. There we go. And let's switch back to our orange. I forgot we need to add a shadow inside of the beak. So we're going to come inside like this, and we're going to create that same shape, the same upside down V shape, and then color in that center part. There we go. Now that looks more like an open mouth. Yeah. Now the very last thing we should do, we don't have to show our friends the whole thing, but let's add that thicker line that goes around the outside. Now this part we're going to skip forward, but we'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. I love adding that thicker line all the way around our drawing. It just makes it look more cartoony. Yeah. I think it looks fun. Now, I also added a thicker line around the bottom of the feathers and a little thicker line around some of the details on the head. But not all of them. Some, some places have thinner lines. Yeah. Let's switch back to our white. white colored pencil and add a little highlight on the end of his chicken feet. Just to make him look a little more shiny. Jack, we did it! We finished coloring and drawing our chicken suit fall guys. It looks awesome. Yeah. Good job! Now, our drawings look different, right? Yep. And I'm sure our friends' drawings look different too. Yes. That's okay. They both turned out awesome. And I'm sure your drawings turned out really cool too. Remember, the most important thing is... To have fun. And to... Practice. Practice. Remember to practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.